Welcome to the start of another weekly vlog. It's Thursday today. I am doing a little job with Sky TV today. Dynamo has his new TV program out tonight and I'm doing like a watch along with me on my Instagram stories, which I'm really excited about. But G had an amazing idea that we could do kind of like magic tricks throughout which I'm definitely up for because I bloody love magic. And he's also just come up with another idea of getting like a slow-mo of me, like putting some cards in the air, like from a 360, 180 perspective. So we're gonna, we just had one go and it was really good. So we're gonna do it again. Yeah, so you have to get good bets. Yeah, try and make sure they hit all the cards. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. They're all like flying up into the air. So. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, you count down and do it. One, <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one, go. Better that you didn't go when you said go. Day. I'm feeling the best I felt in a week in productivity levels and happiness mood levels and I've been productive with work today which is good we're making some lunch now is that a perfect avocado or what <laughs> oh yes oh babe come like you've got so many no come on it looks come on mess. I can't take that off I'll stab myself I'm trying to grow an avocado oh, no, plant. Like no, look, this is my home garden. I don't have a garden, so this is my home garden. I'm trying to grow some avocado plants, but none of them are working. I have also just ordered some seeds online um, to make a whip, like, so I can have a herb garden on my windowsill, which I'm really looking forward to, except they're not coming until ne mid next week because. Even if you've got an Amazon Prime, I think everyone's buying stuff on Amazon Prime, so there's not very many slots left. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about that as well, so I can start growing some herbs. <laughs> Is this Animal Crossing's influence? Yeah, Animal Crossing made me do it. <laughs> toast! We're having poached eggs and toast and avocado for lunch today. Here we go! I just wanted to show you some new active wear I've got. From Tala, who is Grace Beverly's sustainable fashion sportswear brand. And I have wanted to get my hands on some of this for so long now, but they're super popular and they're out of stock quite a lot. But I got my hands on a set and I can't wait to show you. So I got the red burgundy leggings. I'll leave a link to everything down below. And the red burgundy top as well, which is so comfortable, I love the colour, it's super flattering and makes my bum look incredible. Like I've never had leggings that have made my bum look so bloody juicy before. So yeah, absolutely loving this sportswear set, which I'm definitely gonna be wearing to circus when that starts up again. Um, and I think I might also treat myself to a couple more colours. There's a really nice dark grey set that I want as well. I also got the bra top as well because I wear tops like this a lot when I'm doing my exercise so yeah got the whole red burgundy set I am super happy with it look look at me I love it we are on a video chat with all of Jeff's mates we're doing shots because what else is there to do cheers, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. We're now having dinner, having fish cakes and vegetables. Is that appetizing? It does, it looks great. Hmm. G has made us sausage sandwiches for brunch today. It is bank holiday, no, Good Friday today. That means we should be having fish Good Friday and we are having fish. We are. We're having salmon tonight. This looks so good. Oh, I recorded my pub quiz this morning, got that ready, and then 
played some Animal Crossing and then came down with the worst headache. So I had to close my eyes for like 20 minutes, take some pills until it went. But it's now like three o'clock, I think, and we're gonna go for a walk. Um, we haven't been for a walk or left the house in what feels like ages. So yeah, this is our one form of exercise for the day. I'm gonna leave my vlogging camera at home so I don't have to take a bag. I have posted my pub quiz. I always get so stressed posting it, like literally my hands shake because I want to get it all up in time. Um, but yeah, it's up now. We're cooking dinner. Look at these toms. Look! Look at him. Cute. He's a winter tomato. A winter tomato. He's a winter mixed. Cute. This is dinner. We have salmon, purple broccoli, sweet potato and this amazing salad. I burn my little finger for the second night in a row on a baking tray, a oh, very hot baking tray. But I've just developed a brand new way of healing and soothing burns. And that is to cut off a little bit of aloe vera plant. Here's one I prepared earlier. But you want to cut another snip here. So you have something like this and then you put it on your finger like this. And so it just like encompasses <laughs> the burn. It just magically really helps aloe. It just completely takes the burn away. So welcome. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> We're watching Mindhunter. It is Saturday morning. We are cooking brunch. We're having cocktails with our brunch this morning because it's a long weekend and because why, why the hell not? Got some little eggs poaching in there. We've got bacon on, got some avo on the go. Here is our brunch and here is our cocktail. Cheers. Brunch was delicious. I am now in a bit of a cleaning mode. I have been putting off doing any sort of decluttering or housework for so long. So I thought it might be nice to do like a clean, tidy, declutter and organize with me so i'm going to start with my bathroom because it feels like the easiest task but i've got um this thing it's become such a mess so i need to declutter and tidy that um just generally i need to give the like sink and toilet and bath a bit of a clean and up here is a bit of a mess as well and then one day I need to sort through my cupboards as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that today, but I definitely wanna sort through all of the products that are already out because as you can see, I have a lot of them. So yeah, let's do this.
So I have these three storage units in my bathroom full of Lush stuff and I want to try and condense it all down to one I think because this is way too many so in this one I've got loads of bath bombs I'm definitely not going to get rid of any of those I'm not I'm probably not going to get rid of any of this to be honest I just want to try and organize it a little bit better I've been having baths during lockdown so I just need to use them all up look how pretty this basket is now <laughs> inside all the colors it is quite a lot later now. I have been so productive cleaning everything. I've hoovered every room. I've cleaned both bathrooms. I've tried like sorting out some rubbish in my office. It's still looking bad, but not as bad. My bathroom is so much nicer, so much cleaner, so much more organized. I love it. Tonight we are doing another cook along with Motown. If you watched last week's vlog, you would have seen that he taught us how to make uh, authentic Bangladeshi um, chicken curry. And today he's teaching us how to make an authentic lamb curry and a taka dal, which I cannot wait for, I'm so excited. So we're getting all of our ingredients out now. Here's our setup. What are you doing, Fabs? What's that? Here are all of our ingredients. We're also drinking De Serrano and Coke, which is lovely. So we're doing the same base as last time, which is garlic and ginger, two cardamom and two bay leaves. And then we're going to add the onion. We have added the coriander, tomatoes, and then turmeric and garam masala. Yep. Chili powder. Chili powder, yeah. Half a tablespoon. Do you reckon? Or a little bit less? Yeah. This is our taco doll and our lamb is going wild. Here it is. Lambuna taco doll basmati rice. This looks so good, so authentic. I've never had another limp ball flavour apart from your bog standard limp ball, so I thought yeah. I'd just try. Is it coffee? It's very coconutty. Yeah, coconut. So we're going to try the coconut limp ball live on camera. I'm very intrigued. Mm. But I like to cut it open. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a smooth bounty. Mmm. What do you think about that? Very nice. <laughs> but mm. as nice as it is, it's also disappointing because it's not the original. Mm. So it is nice, but you think, oh, that I could have, could have had an original for that. <laughs> Next up, we've got strawberries and cream, which is in a pink wrapper. Oh. Oh, it's pink. Pink with little... Mine's got a little nipple on it. Yours, so is mine. Got a little nipple on it. Oh, Let's God, go for this. That oh, that smells amazing. I can smell this all day. Are you ready? Ready. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Not for you. Nice, but... That is so sweet. I quite like it, but again... Oh my god, I'm, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Couldn't eat too many of them. That's very, very rich. I'd like to try the orange. Have you got any orange? Mm -hmm. can, we, can we wait a second? Because I'm already <laughs> sick. Tonight for drink, we are drinking um, Di Serrano with soda water and a squeeze of lemon. And it's quite sour and a little bit bitter. I think I put too much lemon in, but it's really good. And it actually goes really well with that chocolate. We can recommend because it kind of cuts through the chocolate because it's the opposite taste balance. Does that make sense? We just watched a film called Eighth Grader. Eighth Grade? Um, eighth Grade, yeah. Love Honey was on there as, as one of the YouTube videos. What was it? That's so cool. This was our face after we watched the film. It was so sweet. I'd really recommend it. It was really cute. 
It's Sunday, it's Easter Sunday. Um, Jeff came up with a genius idea of a brunch, which is bacon in a hot cross bun with maple syrup drizzled all, all over it. And if that isn't the dirtiest, best way to start our Easter Sunday, then I don't know what is. So we've got the kettle on, the whole flat smells like crispy bacon, it's delicious. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. How good does this look? Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. This is my Easter bonnet that I've crafted. I'm very excited about this Easter egg hunt. <laughs> Starts Ooh. off with this. Oh my God. Oh. You have to eat it. Do I? I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna feel so sick after it. What is this? Oh. No eggs with clue number one. Find your first with number two in the newly cleaned crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> we just put this um, amazing playlist on. I'm stuck. The second egg is with the species largest. <laughs> Pub quiz. Clear number three. For number three, you'll have to descend to where the air is coolest. You're not very good at looking, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> the manly reward. I love your Easter tail, babe. <laughs> you are so terrible at looking. Why are you starting with R? <laughs> <laughs> that was A. Oh, right. Brunk. Crunk. <laughs> you <run. laughs> Frunk. Grunk. Hrunk. Mrunk. Nrunk. Nrunk. Keep going. No, I can't. I can't remember the alphabet. Trunk. Trunk. <laughs> trunk. Go. Trunk holds. Trunk. Which book? The Jigsaw Man! The Jigsaw Man! Where is it? If you love eggs, you already know where the last one is. Is it the fridge? What was the clue? If you love eggs, you already know where the last P egg yeah. is. Yeah. If you love eggs, love eggs. Love it. Love eggs! <laughs> Now it's my turn. I've done an Easter egg hunt with clues for G. He's ready with his Easter bonnet and what have you got? Your little handbag. I'm hoping for lots of eggs. <laughs> You've got to collect them. <laughs> Might have been the smelly poof. Oh, it's proper magic dragon. Oh man. That's a good clue. <laughs> 
Yes! We couldn't be without our jumble reward for our much missed domestic events. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it is quite a lot later now. Um, after our Easter egg hunt, we, we watched Beauty and the Beast, the newest one with Emma Watson. And then we went and sat just outside our house in the sun for a minute fill the air, get some fresh air, you know. Now we're cooking dinner, we've got steak. We have Yorkshire puddings, homemade chips, some veg, and steak. 